what's going on everybody it's your boy tactical wook back with another video today we're going to be talking about a question that a lot of you guys ask which is is your red dot covered is your red dot black can you not see through your red dot site and the answer would be yes Today we're going to be talking about occluding red dot optics for competition handgun shooting. Red dot occlusion is a newer technique that's been popularized over the last couple of years and become a little bit of a point of contention um, between the tactical community and the competition community. Uh, a lot of the biggest names in uh, competition instruction like Ben Steger, Juan Sik Kim, Joel Park, and many others stand by this technique of occlusion which involves blacking out the optic side of your dot so that you can still see the red dot, but you can't see through the glass, forcing you to stay target focused, uh, giving many, many benefits. Um, some people say there's drawbacks. I haven't found any. Um, and today in this video, that's what we're going to talk about. Like I mentioned earlier, there's a number of benefits for using occlusion when you're running a red dot optic on your handgun. Ever since I started using occlusion, the biggest benefit that I noticed is target focus. A lot of shooters think that they're target focused when they're not. A lot of time is eaten up on USPSA courses, changing focal depths in between the target and the dot. When you cover the dot on the muzzle side, it makes it so that you are forced to use your peripheral vision to superimpose an image of the dot on the specific spot that you want to hit on the target. This level of target focus, I believe, increases your accuracy and speed by allowing you to focus on a very, very small specific spot on the target and not have to worry about a ton of feedback when you put the optic over that spot that you're looking at. With this decrease in visual feedback, I believe also gives you an increased level of visual stamina, allowing you to be visually aggressive and precise for longer periods of time throughout bigger courses of fire. There are numerous options for red dot occlusion. I'm going to give you a few of my favorites. If you're a real Chad, you go and spray paint your optic with some good old Montana black spray paint. <laughs> Obviously, I'm joking. Please do not go and spray paint the front of your optic. I'm going to give you some actual legit affordable and other options that I prefer over uh, looking straight through a clear glass. First and foremost, old reliable, the original OG triple triple electrical tape. Ben Steger, Joel Park, and a few others started out using electrical tape to occlude their dot for training. All you gotta do is take a couple pieces, put it over the muzzle side so that you can still see the red dot through the other side, and you're good to go. Affordable, available, can get you started without making any serious commitments. The third option I know of is going to be 3D printed or Kydex options. You can make these at home. I believe there's a few online retailers that are using them. I haven't tried any of these out. I'm not sure about them as far as live fire practice with these because they seem as though they just clip on and don't really have quite a tight enough grip on the optic that I would like if I'm going to be actually shooting live rounds. My favorite option and the option that I choose to use on all my competition guns that have optics is going to be the optic guard. This is a vinyl option that has interchangeable covers for the muzzle side of your optic that you can exchange for customizable different colors and or just take it out and use the guard as a protector from the harsh conditions at the range or whenever you're carrying. Uh, optic guard sponsors me and they hook me up with a bunch of beautiful awesome uh, covers for all my different optics for all my different guns honestly can't thank them enough and if you're looking for a occlusion solution i'd highly suggest getting after one of these uh optic guards there will be a link in the description of this video 
Again, thank you so much to Optic Guard for supporting me in the channel. Definitely my number one choice when it comes to looking for a occlusion solution. At the end of the day, ultimately, occluding your red dot is going to be a decision that you're going to have to make on your own. Some people feel like they need it. Some people feel like they don't. Some of the best in the world say that it's unnecessary, and some of the best in the world say that you definitely should try it out. Me, personally, I'm going to keep on occluding my dot until someone gives me a really, really, really good reason not to. You should weigh the benefits yourself, and if you came across this video because you've been trying to decide, I hope that this information helped you make that decision a little bit easier. At the end of the day, I hope you choose what's best for you, and thanks for checking out my video. Make sure to hit that subscribe and like button, drop a comment below, and let me know what you'd like to hear me talk about next. Tactical Wook, out. Now that's how you supposed to shoot. From now on, that's how you shoot. Whoa! Oh, I want my next partner to shoot just like that. It take a dysfunction.